months uh -huh. recently. And there are some killers at ATT, some of the creme de la creme yeah. of MMA fighters. Yeah, and he would have learned a lot from Mike Brown and a ton of the people in there. That, and you talk about coaches that care. The mm. ATT team is like that. When they kind of take you under their wing, you're going to learn a lot from some of them. Mm. So we have three rounds of five minutes in this lightweight pro fight. So long jab from Masaru. So as much as Jansen's is a flashy, you know, kickboxer, mm. uh, you know, this might be a game, uh, a night where you do want to try to get to this kid's back. You know, you do want to get in on the hips a little bit. Yeah. Explosive counter by Silphus. But Masaru is uh, very sharp, moving back. Yes. He's standing low, which is very good uh, for defending the takedown. There was a fake takedown oh, yes. that set up that punch. Just yeah. a little head fake on the takedown. Yeah. And Masaru didn't seem to care. You see, that mm. punch didn't seem to face him. No. Who, who uh, just called no free kicks? Did you hear that? One of the corners. I just, that's such a beautiful concept. Mm -hmm. If someone kicks yeah. you, we don't we either check it or we kick them back. Yeah, then, I, yeah, then I think uh, Ricardo yelled that, which is the trainer of Silvis. Yes. Because Masaru missed the kick and he didn't get anything yes. back. No free kicks. You, no. you kick, if I make you miss or I check, I hit you. Yes. Yes. Masaru's on top now. Yes. Yeah, it was it was interesting because it almost seemed that like Janssen's accepted the mm -hmm. takedown yes. very easily. So maybe chose to be here. Yeah, which know? is a BJJ yeah. tactic. Precisely yeah. whether we're yeah. going to see any attacks from guards. So his left arm was overhooking mm. the arm. Now he there, now he took it out. Yeah. So for right now, priority one for Jansen is to keep the head close to you, keep mm. the spine close to you, so there's not a lot of room to punch and like that or yeah, elbow. Masaro makes the distance. Uh, and uh, Masaro didn't accept that. So referees having a little look at what's going on here. So Masaro is moving nicely in this guard to kind of never stay in the center of the keep the hip, never allow Jansen to keep his hips yeah, yeah, but where he wants them. It's crazy Masaro is not trying to stand up, you know, he's trying yeah. to p keep the pressure. The referee's not having it. There we go. Yeah, Mark will give you time. Mark's a great referee. Yeah. We, we see him all over, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and he'll give you time, but if you don't do something, eventually he will get through. Yeah, I like that. I like yeah. that a lot. Mark's a black belt in jiu-jitsu, so he, mm -hmm. he'll, he'll respect your attempt to do things, but if you don't, uh, you're going to get stuck. Yeah. Yeah. Goddard's one of the best in the game. Also fantastic Twitter presence for anyone yeah. who doesn't follow him. He's a good mm. cat. I've literally watched him and his guys drink beer and argue over the minutest details of refing for hours. <laughs> for hours. They live... It was a beautiful sequence there. Masaro oh, yeah. and then What a kick back. for you three there. That left, that mm. left into the gut. Masaro's just feeling it now, right? Like there's an yeah. essence to it that he's, that he's tapping into. Yeah. Let me tell you this, this is the highest level of MMA that you will see wherever you look. Yeah, wherever just, you look. Yeah. Look at that sort of loose, elastic flow from Masaru. Just top. And Masaru's left hand being down is to mm -hmm. invite that punch mm -hmm. and counter. As you just saw with the counter, yes, yes the left hook on top. Yeah. People... Which missed also. Oh, 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 oh that was hard. Yeah. So, Jansen went for the takedown, and mm -hmm. again Masaru centered him. And, and got on top. So now he's going to drop some elbows. Although he also knows if he wants it up, mm. he has seen that Mark, the referee, will stand him up. Yes. So if he yes. doesn't like what's happening here, he'll just sort of shut it down intentionally. Uh -huh. It really looks like Jansen trying to get that. Yeah, yeah, he's trying to trap that arm, you know? But yeah. Masaro feels it because he's been training at ADT with, a, yeah. with people who only trying to do that, I yeah, think, that's right. against him. And Mike Brown, one of the coaches, was, you know, featherweight champion of the world, mm. right? He knocked out Uriah and, and won the WC championship. And a guy like that, you'll learn a ton of these these correct choices to make in these sort of wrestling exchanges mm -hmm. down at ATT with them. Masaro looks great. They both look really good. But they Masaru, are laser sharp, yeah. man. Look, look at their eyes. They don't blink. No. They can't blink because as soon as they do, the yeah. other one will attack. Hit. That's right. Very fast attack, yeah. very fast defense. Oh, I love it. That knee coming yeah. up the middle. Yeah, the knee was timed perfectly, but the jab was too fast. Yeah. Yeah, these two are locked right into this. Yeah, look at their eyes. Luck. Mm -hmm. Luck. Like animals to the one on one on one. That's either and, pretty. And they're man. just telling each other little lies with their uh -huh. movements, you know? Just uh -huh. telling uh -huh. lies and trying to misdirect the other just enough to land these shots. Yeah. So there's a real high level sort of conversation going on between their two minds and eyes and bodies. 
does him wonder just has the distance just that tiny bit more keyed in than Janssen so far. But, but let's talk about the reach of, of, uh, of Masaru Blunder. Yes. It's 196. Jeez. That's my height. <laughs> Man, that's crazy. So you can yeah. see the jabs land from a crazy distance. Oh. He just slipped there, but yeah. good, good. Uh, both men responded to that slip very well. Yeah. Yeah, and on your uh, on, on your point, you three, yeah, a 196 inch reach compared to a 185 of Janssen's, a full 11 centimeters difference. That is that is substantial. Yeah. Yeah. If you're Masaro's corner, you like everything you see. Not only that he was doing well out in the open space, uh -huh. but also he was the one ending up on top in any of the grappling exchanges. Yep. Janssen's though still very much in this. He hasn't been hurt neurologically, he's not tired, you know. He'll make some adjustments here. But yeah, there, so it's just a simple frame that, that let Masaro end up on top there, on the forearm frame. And here again, there maybe the same shot, but just sort of turns him yes. with the forearm. Yeah, creates a space between him and his opponent, doesn't let him touch, if you remember the Coven fight earlier. Yeah. Just was all over him, and that just kept creating that distance yep. between them. Again, we head back into this chess match yeah. of a striking battle between yeah. these two. Yes. You notice, you, you see a lot of sort of lower level people using seven million feints mm -hmm. these days. Mm -hmm. These guys, just small little tiny yeah. misdirections, yeah. not this whole wave in your arms. Oh. Oh. That was a crazy rhythm. Yes, there he used two misdirections yeah. to throw a left hook, which right. is crazy. Yeah. Oh, two nice. lies to let him Yes. He told him two, two lies in succession. Passenger asks oh, Masaru God, to you catch him with an uppercut. Yeah, you just feel like someone's gonna get ripped on the chin any second. Mm -hmm. Masaru got the two uh, underhooks and a strong position. Uh, so he, Masaru should be able to complete this. If, no, not yeah, no, 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 no. There no. was a spot there for him to complete it. Yes, but the corner is calling for him to release. Separate. And, yes, separate. Smart. Yeah. Which is smart. Yeah, yeah that's yes. smart. <laughs> I was about to say, it would be interesting to see what his plans are here, because of course, training American top team filled with wrestlers, yeah. that's probably part of you that wants to go and show everything that you've yeah, learned. No, no, it, it might have given him confidence and also skill, you know, maybe he's like, no, I don't want to release, I feel stronger. Yeah. Yes, that's right. Precisely. If and when he releases, watch for an elbow on the break, mm. right? That, mm. that would be the, but no. Oh, okay. So there was a Kimura there. He's it's actually still got a Kimura there. He's hot. Oh, he's hot. Okay. Holy. Oh, oh that was... Oh, that was wow. real cool. So, the single leg versus the Kimura is like a battle for the ages. I saw a coach say that just recently. As you're in on that spot, the, the Kimura is available. Nate Diaz uses that Kimura throw a lot. But we'll get to see the replay. Man, I'm just gonna stay quiet because I missed that. Yeah. I missed when he when he caught it. I saw them rolling and then ending up in a Kimura. So it it was locked in when they were vertical, uh -huh. when they were standing. So hopefully we'll get to see it. Man, I'm that gonna guess. submission began standing oh. and then attached to him. And then as he forced him to go down, he yeah, asked, so sick. And I like you said, this is a guy who's who's super dangerous and super smart. Yeah. Let's take a look. Yeah. So there he's got his own hands joined. Uh, It'll be right here. He'll start to to re-grip first the, the wrist. Because Masaru is almost going there, to the there, there it is. Yeah. So okay. he slid. He slid down onto it. And now there. Oh, there crazy. It is. He's super giving up cool. his back, taking the grip. Yes. Very. That's yeah. if you talk about lying. Yeah. That's like yeah. my yeah. child lying that she had a already had a candy man. That's right. Because she's got candy all over her, all face. Over her face. Yeah. <laughs> because he was because yeah. Masaru was feeling like he got his back. Maybe. So what? He slips it down. Yeah. So he slips down and keeps slipping and keeps slipping and bink. And there he'll you lock go. it there. There. Now Boom. you feel like you're it's in charge, but you're not. And then he sits that through. That is crazy. Super cool. And then only a few moments yeah. before that. Uh, Glunder's corner telling him to get out, disengage, mm -hmm. and yes. you know, which would be the smartest thing, yeah, as you see right now. Well, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, make a
Cross for Nishu finalists, Tilbis Johnsons and Asado Blinden. When the winner of this fight is the man in the blue corner, Tilbis Johnson! Masaro, thank you for a wonderful fight. Silvis Jansen. Yeah, Dude, walk me through that kimono. Please, thank you. Tell me about this kimono. That was super sick. That was good, man. Can I? Thank you very much. Uh, first of all, I want to say hello, Latvia. I love you, Latvia. Yes. Second of all, I want to say yesterday on the range, I heard a lot of easy work. I hear this, you know? And now, what I can say? Easy work! Easy work! Man, this guy who was saying that here again, easy work. Never say to me easy work, man, if you don't know me. Okay, I want to say thank you to Coach Costello, Stefan, and Ricardo, and all my team. And Gary, thank you for coming. Yes, thank you. You are nobody's easy work, my friends. Congratulations. Silvis Jansen.